There are times when we just have to say no, but the circumstances make us feel decidedly awkward and even guilty. We still need to say that short word even though the other person doesn't want to hear it and may well be telling us that. And they're secretly or openly hoping if they put enough pressure on you, well, you could change your mind and say yes instead, but that won't do you any good. So start by knowing why you're actually saying no. Is it just instinct? Or have you thought everything through and come to a considered answer? It's, if it's just because you always say no, then take a step back and actually tell the person you need time to think about it before giving them an actual answer. Though you should understand. Then actually think things through. What are the plus and the minus points for saying no instead of yes? And there'll be some for both sides. And if on balance you think the answer is still no, that's fine. At least you thought it through. And at least you've gone through the process rather than just automatically giving your response of no, no way. And you can explain to the other person why rather than just saying, oh, that's what I always say. And that should help them come to terms with your decision, hopefully. And there are also lots of different ways to say the word no. It doesn't have to be just the... Just, you could just use the one word, or you could go into politician mode and almost give a speech with your reasons, and no one really knows why by the end of it. Ideally, you should let the other person down gently rather than not, which usually means you need to use rather more than just a single word, no. And if at all possible, find something positive to include in your reply, because that'll help. Encouragement for the other person goes a long way to letting them down, and suggesting someone more suitable than you is even better. Another alternative, compromise. You might say no to the whole thing being suggested, but you could say yes to helping with some smaller parts of it. And that could even be advantageous to the person asking, as it could mean that they basically get the best help for each stage of their project, rather than having to have a basically a one-size-fits-all solution. And sometimes saying no can be stressful to you, it's just the nature of refusing to do things that brings out the stress in us. You might need to find a way to de-stress yourself once you've given your answer. Anything from a change of state, could be a walk, could be like this, a stretch, through to yoga or meditation or even just a breathing exercise. Another option is play yourself the hypnosis track I've learned, linked below this video. It'll help you with both the initial decision on whether or not to say no, because that was a good start, as well as coping better with the personal consequences of using that one seemingly small word. So download it now if you need more help, say no more often.